What's up, YouTube? How you guys doing? I'm giving enough people enough time to come on in and get it going. Um, first of all, before we roll off up into this, I'm going to say this. Like the video. It's most important. Like the videos. Hey, Stacy, how you doing? Subscribe and tell your friends all about this, this channel. Thanks, Stacy, for calling in last night. You, you, you were, you was wonderful on the show last night. You, you were great. Now let me, let me say this. What's up, B Jesa? B Jesa. Uh, let me say this, everybody. The dating game, the the three one three live dating, is on hold for a minute because I have legal by legal advisement. I've been advised that. I need to get something in writing and have it posted on my social media, my website, and on here as well, that if anybody meet that I'm not responsible for whatever happens, so I'm going to have to put that off a little bit longer, you know what I'm saying? So give me a minute, and uh, we'll be good. Thanks. Thanks again, Stacy. Let's talk about this little dumb motherfucker named Mike Edwards, y'all. Y'all haven't saw the video, it's floating all over social media, all over the radio. This dude catches this young guy joyriding in his Mercedes Benz that was stolen. The young guy and his boy stole this man's Mercedes Benz, and they catches him in his Mercedes Benz. He takes the young guy's cell phone and puts him on YouTube Live. As he's snitching and telling on everybody that was involved, dropping names, name dropping left and right. This is no lie. No lie. What's up, Lamont Jones? How you doing? As he was name dropping, he told on all his friends, told everything. And then another thing that was so dumb with the young guy, right? This is why I say young guys. They bust on themselves and get themselves in trouble. The young guy did not delete none of the text messages, did not delete none of the DMs in his inbox. The guy snatched his phone, went through all his shit, went through all his shit, got all the texts out, all the DMs, and the young guy even showed him pictures of everybody that was involved with him that stole his Mercedes Benz, gave them their names. Yes. Yes, he's a straight idiot. So the guy was, you know, like, you you ain't making no money. This little young nigga talking about, oh, I'm making money. I got bands. I'm getting, hey, how you doing, sexy? How you doing, baby? Miss APF07, how you doing, baby? Hey, man, thank you, peoples212. Um, as I was saying, right, he talking about he getting money and the guy wanted to whoop the shit out of him, right? It was like, you getting a, a couple thousand, a hundred, a thousand dollars here, two thousand there. You think that's money? You ain't getting no money, little young nigga. And the young guy was just going on and on and on and on, right? If it was me. I would have beat his little ass. I would have fucked him up. Real talk. And his friends. Another thing, right? The dude was so stupid. The guy was like, "Oh, so you 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 you're, you're a drug dealer? You sell drugs, huh?" He's like, "No, nah, I don't sell drugs. I sell weed. I sell weed and I sell Percocets and Zannies, right?" I ain't sold dope in over like about 13 years, but the last time I checked, weed was dope. Um, Xanax and all of that, that's pre prescription dope. And, and the other one, um, Percocets, that's a uh, fucking prescription dope, right? <laughs> now, we got to look at it like this. All the young people are not stupid like he's stupid. But a good majority of them are. 
the dude was stupid. Straight stupid. I laughed at him and was just, I shook my head and was like, what went wrong? What can we do as black men to help these dummies to better themselves? You know what I'm saying? These are the same young guys that's talking about snitches. I don't fuck with snitches. But they're the same motherfuckers that's taking their cell phone camera and record everything that they do or somebody else doing uploading it on social media. That, my friend, is snitching. Very much. Yeah, the nigga was shook, A.B. Supreme. You saw the video. Tell me you... I know you saw it because he was shook than a motherfucker. But at the same time, why would you steal a car and joyride it and take it selfies of yourself in a stolen Mercedes Benz? It ain't yours. Ryan Clark, some kids think they know everything. They believe they're already grown. Ryan Clark, you are one million percent right, my brother. These little young motherfuckers today think they know every fucking thing. AB Supreme ain't got no guidance. You ain't never lied. They ain't got no guidance, no 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 male figure in their life. Real talk. They fucked up out here. You know what I'm saying? Back when I was coming up, the neighbor would whoop your ass if they caught you doing wrong. Then they took you home and you got your ass whooped again by mama. And then when daddy got home, you got your ass whooped. You got a total of three ass whoopings in my time coming up, for real. No, you know what? Dre Diddy 83, no, they was not. You know what I'm saying? Um, the government took the right out of your home to whoop your kid, you know what I'm saying, and called it child abuse. What kind of bullshit is that, child abuse? No, whoop your kid ass. I'm going to whoop my kid ass if they get out of line. And I remember one time I whooped my daughter's ass, right? And she called, went to the school, listening to her girlfriend. Her girlfriend told her, well, um, if you tell them you're scared to go home, right, they'll go see your father and your father won't whoop you no more, right? That shit backfired on her ass in the most hellified way ever. When they came to my house, they said, well, your house is a nice home. You got your own bed. You got a fucking 32-inch screen, flat screen TV hanging on your wall. And you got a fucking Blu-ray DVD player and a game in your room. Your own everything. And you listen to your girlfriend. The girlfriend who don't have shit. To this day, her girlfriend is pregnant and on welfare, right? So when the people left was getting ready to leave, right? I told them, uh-uh. You better take her with you because when you leave, I'm going to whoop her ass. I'm going to fuck her up. So she was sitting there shook and, and, and trembling and, and tears was falling down her eyes. I'm like, you better take her with you because I'm going to whoop her motherfucking ass. So the people was like, well, you, you, we can't place her nowhere. You know what I'm saying? You don't want her to be placed in Detroit because she's going to be worse than what she is. She's not a bad kid. I was like, I don't give a fuck if you send out to West Africa. If you leave this house and you leave her in my house with me today, I'm going to whoop her ass. So you better take her with you. So they called her auntie. Her auntie came and picked her up. A couple days later, they thought I was calm. No, I'm not calm. If you bring her back, I'm going to whoop her ass. I'm telling you right now. So me and the people, we sat down and we talked. And it's like, well, Mr. Foster, look. You got a, a good daughter. She's. In, we talked to the to teachers in the school, and you know they just said that she was following the wrong crowd. I was like, you need to put her in jail. I want to put her in jail, place her somewhere, right? So they took my daughter way out to um, what's that Royal Oak to this home on the Royal Oak for privileged kids and shit because they didn't want to put her in Detroit. And those privileged kids was telling her some shit. And when she came up out of that bitch in two weeks, right? Two weeks. I never had a problem on my daughter ever again in life. Never. But I'm going to stand up to the state. You living in my house, I'm going to whoop your ass. And like I told that state, motherfucker, I'm not on welfare. I don't get no assistance from the state. 
Fuck y'all. My tax dollars pay y'all. And if I want to whoop my door, then I'm going to whoop my motherfucking door this ass. Please believe it. 17, I think that's old enough for a grown man asking. Yes, sir. You run your mouth at 17, that's old enough to get an ass kicks. Ass kicking. Yes, it is. Oh, yeah, the lesson was learned. Lesson was learned. So true, my daughter does good. I spoil, so I spoil that right here and there. But there are spoiled kids. Okay. Well, you know, it's like this. You, you, get, you want your kids to have everything you didn't have coming up. So, yeah, you spoil them a little bit. But at the same time, let them know I, I will tap that ass. Real talk. I will tap that motherfucking ass. See, this is why I like y'all. You know what I'm saying? This ain't just about... we. Even though, you know, we all came together because of the Tupac videos. And we came together because of me fucking over Whack 100 and all that, right? But we real people. So we over here, we talk about real life shit over here. You know what I'm saying? So we are going to, this is why we communicate and get along all of us and, and do what we do on, in the 313 live show channel, because it's more than Tupac. It's more than Biggie. It's more than Trex, more than Whack 100. Even though I'm going to do some more videos on that shit, but we talk about real life, everyday shit to go on on this channel. You know what I'm saying? Hey, man, thank you, Peoples212. I appreciate that 100%, fam. I really do. I really do. These little young niggas done drove past my motherfucking house two times with their hoodie on and in a SUV. And I got my thing over here. So if them motherfuckers ride past one more motherfucking time, I think I'm going to get to dumping. Real talk. Because you um looking a little too fucking hard up this way, motherfucker. What the fuck? Yeah, fuck whack, man. Fuck whack. Fuck him, fuck whoever down, and, and, and you know, condone his bullshit. Real talk. So, who's going to see the Tupac movie? Me. I'm going. Burn their ass. I got bum money. Hey, I got my own bum money, but I appreciate you. You know what I'm saying? If I ever get into a jam, the first person I'm going to call is me. I'm going to call me first. Then we're going to call my lawyer. Cause I gotta bum, I'm gonna bum myself out of trouble. Please believe that. Cause when I get in trouble, man, it be some bum be set high for real. Man, I I I, I had a case about what 2006, right? And um, it was out of Macomb County. No lie, you can go pull it up. It's public fucking records. These motherfuckers gave me a seventy thousand dollar, a uh, seventy five thousand dollar cash. Security bond. They wanted seventy five thousand fucking dollars to get out. I called the bail bondsman. That's what you do. The bail bondsman wanted seven thousand five hundred just to get my black ass out. Right, man. I was out of that bitch within. Three hours at the most tops. Next, bell bondsman. They wanted seven thousand five hundred. They wanted seventy five thousand cash security, a surety bond out in Macomb County. I got a bell bondsman. They came and got me out. I had to get them seven thousand five hundred. Put the D, um the title to my car up as well, right? Aaron had to end up paying the attorney to beat the case. Another 10 5. Not 10 hundred, 10 5 to beat the case. And I said, I'll never go to Macomb County ever again and commit and, and whoop nobody's ass because they will slam your ass over there. And guess what these racist motherfuckers said when I walked out, right? They told my people, right? Oh, his bond 75,000. Cash assurity, he gonna be here for a while and laughed. He he he. When I came, when they came back, twenty minutes, not even twenty minutes later, going out to the car, counting that money out, and the bail bondsman was there. Them same racist motherfuckers asked my people, "How do y'all come up with this kind of money?" 
None of your fucking business. Don't worry about it, motherfuckers. <laughs> but yeah, they out cold. They some racist motherfuckers over in Macomb County. Real talk. Trill life. That's trill life, baby. Real talk. Always have you that lawyer. Have a lawyer on standby. Pay that lawyer fee for real. Pay that shit. Keep your lawyer on retainer. Pay that shit. Pay it. Pay it. So, yeah, hey y'all, if y'all didn't catch the show last night, right? Let me uh let me see here. Uh let me see here. If y'all didn't catch the show last night, right? Y'all missed a good a good fucking show. Stacy called into the show. So did OG Kush. They called into the show last night. You know what I'm saying? Good seeing you too, baby. Called into the fucking show. It was it was beautiful, y'all. It was beautiful. We we had fun. Stay Stacy got a, a real thick accent. Much love to you too, Mexican American. Hey, this guy right here. Hey, I love Mexican American. Mexican American. Y'all, this nigga is one of the coolest motherfuckers you can ever run into. Salute him. That's my motherfucking homie. He follows me over on Facebook. Now we friends on Facebook. I fucks with him. He's a good, he's a good dude. Hard working motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Real talk. Uh Peoples 212. You can go back. What you got? An iPhone or Android, Peoples? What you got, baby? I'm finna tell y'all how y'all can go listen to the, the podcast right now. Listen. If you have an iPhone. Go to iTunes or either the podcast app on your phone. Search the 313 Live Show. You'll see us pop up. It's three individuals in black on the cover. Three. It's the only the 313 Live Show. We the only ones. Hit subscribe to the show and start listening. Android people, you got a whole host of fucking um um uh, what's the name's application you can listen to the show on. You can listen to it on iHeartRadio. Stitcher Radio, the TuneIn app, Google Music, I mean Google Play Music, um, anywhere where there's podcasts, you can listen to it, right? Search the 313 Live Show and listen to the fucking show, the real show. Yeah, the 313 Live Show, the podcast show. Check that motherfucker out and listen. Oh, yeah, Android wide open for podcasts. So is iTunes, but iTunes just make it basically... Hey, come over here. It's easier to just listen to it right here on iTunes. No, I didn't put you on blast. Come on now, Stacy. We was talking about the you said you ain't suck no dick in a while, right? And I told you why all the guys was all on you because you said you ain't suck dick in a while and they want some. Now, come on, Stacy. By you letting everybody, this 2017, right? Everybody eat pussy and everybody suck dick. You know what I mean? So, by you saying that you haven't sucked dick in a while, right? That was like telling a fat man where he can go get a 20-ounce T-bone steak at for free. You know what I'm saying? You know? <laughs> come on. I, come on now, come on, but Stacy is like you know. What did we didn't put you on blast? It was all out of love. Now I know you went back and you heard the show, and we gave you mad, mad, mad props for real. Hey DSX, hey man, it's all love over here, man. I'm just an average everyday guy, and I love to talk shit with my people, and we have fun. You know what I'm saying? I got to give y'all a little time out today. And let y'all know what's up. You know what I'm saying? Y'all fuck with me heavy and I fuck with y'all. You know what I'm saying? That's what Trill mean. You know what I'm saying? 100% fam. Let's do this shit. You know, it's, it's all love. Real goddamn right. For sure. You know what I'm saying? Hey, we family over in this motherfucker, y'all. ain't no, you know, I'm a podcaster or a vlogger or a YouTuber and, you know, uh, you're going to come over and watch me? No. We, we, we building uh, relations with each other. You know what I'm saying? So... You know, we fuck with each other. You know what I'm saying? If you in Detroit, you might need me to come do something for you. You know what I'm saying? Or in the Michigan area, you might need me to do something to you, for you. You might need me to come, you know, and uh, be at your party or something. You might need me to show up. That's what I'm here for. I'm there. You know what I'm saying? 
You asked me that, I said, yeah, it's been a while. It's been almost five years, like four and a half. Come on, Stacey. You sucked the dick before four and a half years. Quit playing now. Quit playing. Quit playing. Quit playing. Hey, I fucks with the Bronx. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I got family in Brooklyn. I was born there. I moved in um, Detroit when I was 12. I got family in Brooklyn, homie. Brooktown, what's up, bro? Sorry about that, y'all. That was a call in. I had to take that call real quick, y'all. Y'all know I'm coming right back. Loyalty isn't from everybody. That's the lot. Loyalty is not for everybody, man. But loyalty should be for everybody. You know what I'm saying? Like I say, you in Detroit and you need me and you in the Michigan area, you need me, I'm there. All you got to do is say, hey, nigga, I need you to appear at, at my, my gathering. Whatever, I'm there. You need the whole crew, we there. Just say the word and we there. 100 you know what i mean we'll hold it down all you gotta do is put me in the vip section and i'm there people calling in left and right y'all they ain't gonna quit so yeah what up rap662 how you feeling fam i'm telling everybody this your first time watching me like this video and subscribe you know what i'm saying i love it when i get new subscribers every time i go live i, I get some i get them new subscribers because i'm saying some shit they like real talk y'all but hey moreau we got some shit we got to talk about later on and we gonna make it pop off i talked to y'all a little bit later on this evening peace and love if you ain't my friend on facebook Go over there, get with me on Facebook, Terrell Foster, T-E-R-R-E-L-L, -L, Foster, F-O-S-T-E-R, in quotations, that guy rail. Send me that friend request, and I'm going I'm on, I'm on, I'm on, to um, accept you. You know what I'm saying? Love the moments, too, my brother. You, I believe you, Stacy. Come on, Stacy. You know I'm fucking with you, Stacy. Stacy, Stacy. You all right with me? Hey, Miss uh, APF07, you a sexy motherfucker now. You sexy than a motherfucker. You you, you know what? You a little sexy motherfucker. For real, y'all. I'm going to go listen to Ply's, um, what's her name? Um, At the Ritz Carlton. That's my shit. I love that song. I listen to that song. But let me tell y'all niggas something. That one song got all the little young niggas out here confused and fucked up. And they be talking about... They ran off on the plug twice and laughing, nigga. No, no, no. That shit ain't cool to brag about you ran off on your plug. Because if you ran off on the plug, nigga, you would get popped in my day. So that's not cool to talk about you ran off on the plug. Stop saying that shit. It ain't cool. The nigga said that in the song. Okay? It wasn't for real. He ain't run off no, on no plug two times. Okay. Nah, oh, oh Miss... AP, yeah, where she go with her little fine, sexy ass? She's a little fine, sexy motherfucker, y'all. I saw one of her pictures, right? I, she looked that, she looked like that little pussy got some power on her, y'all. And look now, by me saying that, everybody finna go hound her down now. Everybody finna go hound her down. I just, I just blew you up. I just blew you up, Miss AP. I'm sorry, I just blew you up, cause these niggas is finna come at you now. Always. Peace to the room. Salute. Hey, Peoples212, man. This is what we do. We do. It's love over here. This is all positive. All positivity, positivity, no hate. Oh, you got... Uh, hey, bro. Hey, I'm on that ass. You know what I'm saying? Send me a D-Town chicken. Let's, uh, send me a GA Peaks, baby. <laughs> Let's swap. I'll send you five of these Michigan Detroit chicks. I'll send you five of them. Real talk, y'all. But yeah, good deal, fam. Hey, you're more than welcome, Stacy. DS DSX X S X. You you cool with me, fam? But I gotta roll, y'all. Peace and love. I'll see y'all later. Go follow me on Facebook, you know, and we do what we do over there. Peace and love, everybody.